Hi, this is Hannah Jackson, your Roadmap Reporter here. Now, many of us fondly remember our childhood toys, that action figure we begged our parents for, that well-loved teddy that went everywhere with us, perhaps a board game we used to play with our families. But in the age of mobile apps and online gaming, is there still a place left for simple old-fashioned toys? Today, I've come to speak to a traditional toy maker to try and find out. Good morning. Oh, hi, you must be Paul. I am. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. I'm Hannah. Hi. So this is your toy shop. It is, yes, full of good traditional wooden toys. I can see that. It is like stepping back in time, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I've just spotted this. I would have loved one of those when I was a little girl because I love drama mm -hmm. and everything. So that would have been so fun. But you haven't seen one of these before. Oh yes I had, I remember those when I was little. Now that takes me back, very nostalgic. Very simple. Very simple, but, yeah. But <laughs> very addictive. Now you make toys as well, don't I you? Do. Which ones have you made here? Um, I concentrate on making the larger items like the toy farms, mm. castles, dolls' houses, all that sort of thing. This is one which I make here, a little lift out gates in the big size. That's definitely something that if you got when you were little, you'd really remember that as you, you grew would. older. Yes, yeah. you would. Now, as well as making toys, you restore them as well, don't you? I do, yes. Would you like to have a look in the workshop? I absolutely would, right. yay. Would you like to come this way? Okay. Wow. Oh, Paul, this is magical in here. It's like some kind of fairy tale. I love it. Santa's workshop. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me what is involved in repairing and restoring old toys. Quite often with restoration, people don't want it looking new. They want to preserve the old look about things as well as having it working again. OK. Well, is there anything special you're working on right now? These buildings here, they've come to me to be restored. They were made 90 years ago by the, the lady who owns them. Her father made them when he was 14 with the help of his father. Um, and they're made out of old packing cases. If you look inside, you can see the writing on them. Yeah. <laughs> so I also believe that you collect old toys as well, don't you? I do, yes. I have a, just a few of them over here if you want to have a play. These ones here, the, the Russian folk toys, they're about 30 years old, but okay. they're made to designs which go back 150 years probably in that region. Really? If you'd like to pass me the leper, that dates from around about 1900 to 1920. So these are 100 years They're old? They're 100 years old. I mean, I love these, but do you think these are still popular with children now? I mean, can this wooden toy compete with a video game? It doesn't have to compete with a video game. It, it stands in its own place, really. Yeah. But they're nice to the touch as well as to look at. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for showing me around your workshop. It's been a pleasure. I do need your help with one thing, though. I really need to get a birthday present for my nephew. So what would you suggest for a seven-year-old boy? I've got just the thing in the shop. Do you want to follow me? Lead the way. Well, I've certainly had an amazing time here today, and I'm glad to see that not everyone is ready to stop playing with traditional wooden toys just yet. And I just hope that my nephew enjoys playing with this. This is Hannah Jackson, your Roadmap Reporter, signing off.